I like an ego. All right, here we go. T Dubs Deep Dream Team. What's this going is what, on, man? This is what t- you ready for Christmas? I'm stretching it out for Christmas. Yeah, not not really, but yeah. Yeah, kind you of. got a lot. You got a lot going on. You're a busy man. Yeah, for sure. This is always a nice break, though, so I appreciate you jumping on. Kids ready for Christmas? I think so. They still have one more day of school, so. Do they? Okay. I don't know why my kids, they cut it short. I think the kid, teachers has had it. They were like, I think we're let's, just tell them, let's just tell them break begins on Thursday. And tomorrow That's the teachers amazing. are going to get together for like happy hour or something. So what, what's, on, what's on the agenda today? What do I got? On the Haciendo, let's talk about... We're, all, we're talking about... We always talk about kicks. We talk about shoes. Yeah, kick, I yeah. thought it would be interesting to hear what do you think is the most comfortable pair of shoes you own? Yep. Didn't have to be basketball shoes. Didn't have to be Jordans. Just what yep. is the most comfortable pair of shoes you own and why? And then we'll get into some of the other stuff. All right. You want to start there? Yeah. I kind of cheated a little bit here. It's not technically a shoe. This is the A6 3D Breeze. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of this. No. But it is, is a three, it's a 3D printed slide. But I'll tell oh, you no. this this is no, literally the this. most this is the most comfortable thing I've ever put on. It's not even like I couldn't even get a shoe to be half as comfortable as this. So are these competing against like the the Yeezy slides and all that? I don't think it's coming. I mean, these are like, I mean, people don't really know about these. I don't think this is like an Asics shoe. Like, but yeah, the only is... thing I know about Asics are like the epitome of the dad shoe, right? The bright white. Yeah, this is like, um, this is unreal. I'm telling you, like the cushion on this, it's like walking on a cloud because I think the the holes, um, it, it's all 3D printed. The cushioning. It just yeah. like dampens everything. So I, I wear them. Anytime I'm going to be standing for a while, I'm, yeah. I'm probably going to wear these, especially if it's like so not something I need to dress up for. Yeah, if I'm going to like the toilet. What is it called? A6. <laughs> My frantic look is me trying to open a browser, by the way, to see how quick they can buy them. A C T I Breeze 3D. Got it. Okay. All Act right. Active Breeze. I think that's what they're called. They are amazing i love this is this is i mean oh my god they look nice are they what's their sizing like true to size i went i went to size up on it because i like my sandals a little big dude they got know. like their sizing is small medium large extra large for shoes yeah what is that it's mean? wild these are okay. i don't know so you're looking about like 90 bucks 80 bucks. 90 bucks that's not bad worth every Indoor. penny you wear them indoor, outdoor, both. You go to the store, you rock them. They look, they look futuristic. Yeah, they look kind of ridiculous and huge on your feet, but it, I, I forget. I mean, if they look like Crocs, I would still wear them. They just are so comfortable. Um, so you tell me these are these are worth it? Worth every penny. <clears throat> and what did you I mean, buy? It, on it's, size? What's that? What size did you buy? Uh, I'm a, I'm an 11, so I think I did large. So large is nine and a half to 11. XL is 11 and a half to 13. So I'm a 10 and a half to 11 too. So large fits fine. Like yeah, your large heels is good. Running. Large is good. Oh, they're no, sold this... out there. Okay. I'm going to find them. These must yeah, be. Stock X has shows. them. Stock X. I think I bought mine on Stock X. Um, I think actually a6 themselves have, oh out of stock i got you okay yeah i'm gonna have to stock up this. no that it's it's crazy how comfortable they are i can't even, you know how like adidas boost is really comfortable and i think yeah. nike nike react also very comfortable this yeah. puts those to shame really no, it's not even close because you've got how so just to set a precedent like how many you have how many shoes in your collection probably and right now, 350. And out of 350 pairs of shoes. Nothing even close to this. Yeah, nothing close. Ever. I mean, and 350 is over the course of years and years of collecting. And this is nothing, a lot, man. Yeah, nothing even relatively close to this. 
Because we were saying the most comfortable shoe you own, not, you know, slides. But you went out of 350, you picked these. Yes. And it's not, it was not even a hard choice to make. I just went and got them because I'm like, I wear them every day. All right. That's a must have. I'm just surprised I'm hearing about it now for the first time. Oh, it's, it's a life changer. I can't wait for you to get them and then explain to everybody how comfortable they are. All right. Again, no, you know, no, not, spon- not sponsored. Not sponsored. I'd love it to be sponsored, but it's not sponsored. Amazing shoe. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to be sponsored as well. <laughs> uh, bacon bits. Bacon bits keeps calling me. Um, yeah, what about you? Okay. What's your most comfortable shoe? So mine, I should go first because every time you go first, I feel like you blow it out of the water. Then I come through with, I, I wear, I wear a piece of paper on my foot. <laughs> All right, so mine is kind of an interesting shoe. This is probably the bougiest shoe I own. It's uh, where are we? All right, there. Okay, so this is a Gucci shoe that. It's 100% all, like, leather, handmade, all that good stuff, right? Yeah, right. Even Even the sole, probably. Yeah. Got a little zipper on it there. Where am I? Okay, there. Got a little zipper. All right. This was, like, a $600, $700 shoe that Nordstrom put on sale in my size for, like, $200. So, they had, like, one pair left, so I got them. Literally the most comfortable pair of shoe I own, and the reason is that liner it's like 100 percent leather yeah all the leather. shoe is flat and i and i found like over the years of owning like different types of shoes a flat shoe with good quality leather makes all the difference huge difference it is it's like you know a hundred percent you get like the air i have that big air max 90 collection i've got you know a few pairs of jordans you know from your collection like you put on a pair of like vans and it's like oh my god or the or converse right the original converse yeah that's why you need a worn to you you need them because like the more you wear it the more it like molds around your foot yeah i have a i have an old pair of jordan one low uh golf shoes and that's like like that it's like a leather gore-tex so so i mean i wear those all the time i love it i i I just think really comfortable yeah now of course like i can't i can't rock these all the time they're so bright you know i look like a crossing guard but but nonetheless i like them leather and a little suede on the backs and plus they're gucci so you can't you know can't go wrong yeah so i like it all right i'm gonna have to cop those i can't get those slides out of my mind you gotta do the show is over